Yeah, civil rights experts for years have said that although it was the Supreme Court decision, Brown versus the Board of Education, that broke the legal back of segregation, it was the murder of Emmett Till in Mississippi and the deaths of the four little girls in the bombing at 16th Street Baptist Church that broke the moral back of segregation. I was on my way down the steps at my house on First Street, which is about 10 or 11 blocks from the church. And I remember this particular day, I jumped from the, st the, the landing to the bottom step. And as soon as I hit the bottom step, we heard this loud explosion. Maybe two, three, five minutes later, calls started coming in, and we found out that it was a bomb at 16th Street Baptist Church. We didn't know at that time, you know, who was killed or if anybody was killed or hurt in the blast. It wasn't until a couple of hours later that uh, the names were revealed. And I remember how hurt I felt, you know, having known them personally. Where was a more dastardly deed Four young girls went to church one morning and never came home. Cynthia Wesley was a real sweet girl. As a matter of fact, her father was the principal of Wickerson School up on the hill. She was family, little Cynthia. Carol Robinson knew her very well, very, very well. McNair, the little McNair girl. Her, her, her father was uh, my instructor. He was a photographer. And when he had little photography assignments, he'd have to take me along. Sometimes he'd have his little daughter with him, you know, little Denise. So I got a chance to spend some time with her. The Collins girl, her sister, Judy, was in my class, you know, so I knew the whole family. So I knew all of these girls, like, personally. That's why they thought it was poetic justice when I was the one to pay poetic tribute to them. You know, when they inducted, when Condoleezza came here and inducted the four little girls into the Gallery of Distinguished Citizens, I was the one who wrote the poem that's in the State Department in Washington now and also in the Civil Rights Museum. I call the poem, The Roses. It says, scour the pages of history. I doubt if one could find a nastier stain, a bloodier blot on the escutcheon of mankind. It seared the consciousness of a nation. It touched the marrow in our bones, but it stiffened our spines to face down tyranny, the hoses, dogs, and stones. No longer will we weep, prostrate beside your graves, for you were sacrificial lambs by which a nation would be saved. Freedom is so sacred, oh, the price that she imposes. No longer shall we complain of thorns, enough to have the roses. So full of so many aspirations, and they were just wonderful, wonderful kids. Had so many ambitions, and hopes for the future just cut out.